One of my most popular tutorials here on the channel is the one where I show you how to create repetitive or recurring tasks in Trello. That excites me because I'm all about habit building in business and that tells me that you guys are looking to do the same types of things. But of course, there have been some changes in Trello recently and that makes my older videos a little bit outdated. I've been getting a lot of questions over there about one thing in particular. So I thought I would just do an updated version for 2025 using the new Trello 2.0. But before we dive into this, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and ring that notification bell so that you never miss a tutorial or upload. Okay, so as you can see here, I already have a habits list. This is because this is the board I used to create those other videos. I do wanna call out though that even though this is a premium training board, what I'm about to show you does not require that you have a premium workspace. You can do all of this in the free workspace. When you're setting up a recurring task in Trello, you wanna start obviously with your task. I've got here the number one habit that I always have new clients get started with so that they get into the routine of going to Trello on a daily basis. So what we need to do here is update that due date because I haven't been in here in a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this and switch to today. And let's also go ahead and update the time here to be closer to what time it is while I am recording this. So now let's go ahead and set up the actual automation workflow that's going to recur that task when it's completed. Now this is set up to be a manual completion of the task, meaning when you mark this complete. And this is where actually the change came into play because in previous videos, the trigger that I set up would be when the due date is marked complete, but that doesn't exist anymore. So let's go ahead into our automation workflows. And I do wanna say really quick that if you had previously set up an automation workflow with that as your trigger, it will still work. I have not had to redo any of my recurring tasks because of the change. But if you are setting this up for the first time, then you won't be finding that due date. So let's go ahead and create a fresh automation. And we're gonna look for the new trigger that you need in order to have it be triggered off of when you mark the item complete. And here's the thing, you can set this up more automated even where it's marked complete by something else happening. I'm not going all the way to that. We're just gonna do this very simple as though you are manually marking it complete on a daily basis. And honestly, when you're setting up a new habit, that's actually better because you want that button click of saying, hey, I actually did this today in order to reset it for the next day. It's better for habit building in general and just how our brains are rewired in that way. So let's go ahead and add our trigger. And previously we would have gone to this dates tab and looked for when a due date is marked complete. But as you can see, that is not here. We are now gonna go to our card changes tab and see where it says where the card is marked complete. Now we're gonna leave it on complete if you're only doing this for certain types of cards, whether they are labeled a certain way or in a specific list, you would do that here. You would choose a different filter based off of that. But for this purpose, again, we're keeping it simple. I'm assuming that if you're marking it complete, then you want it to reset for the next day, okay? So let's go ahead and hit that blue plus sign to set up our trigger. So there's our trigger when the card is marked complete. And now what we're gonna do is tell it we want it to reset for tomorrow. So we are still gonna go to our dates tab for this. And you are gonna see here that we've got the mark the card is complete here now in the actions. This is why I think it's still a little bit confusing for some people when they're looking for it in the trigger because it is still here under the dates in the actions. I'm not sure if they're gonna keep it that way or if it's gonna change eventually. So just kind of heads up on that one. But we're gonna go ahead and move that due date. So we're gonna go to the third option here say move the due date and we're gonna choose, we have a couple of options here. We could say move it by one day, but I'm just gonna go ahead with, again, the simple route and say move it to tomorrow. Hit that little plus sign so that it's changing the workflow action. And then we'll hit the blue plus sign to add that action. But then this is the most important piece of this puzzle that I think people forget to do the first time around. We're gonna add one more action. We're gonna stay on that dates tab and here's where we need that mark the card complete or incomplete option we're going to switch it to incomplete and we're going to hit that blue plus sign and that's because if we don't do that then tomorrow when that due date and that time comes back around 
it's going to think it was already completed. And so any reminder we might have had set on that date is not going to happen because it thinks it's already done, right? So we're marking that card as incomplete again, and we're going to go ahead and hit save. And that's one thing too that I didn't point out when we were looking at our card is that Yes, we have our time here, but we also have a due date reminder. And that's so that it will pop up into the notifications here in Trello. But also if you're using the mobile app, which I highly recommend, you'll get that pop-up reminder as well, as long as you are a member on the card. So make sure that you have added yourself and you see your little icon here on the card. That is how you will get those notification reminders. And now we're going to come in here as though we had completed this task. We're going to mark this card complete. And we're going to see that our, our due date is going to move to tomorrow and have the same time on it. And our reminder is still going to be set there just like it was before. If you have any problem setting this up or if you want to chat a little bit more about how to incorporate this to your existing workflow, make sure you drop that in the comments. The online tools for your business do not need to be complicated and overwhelming. It's time to let it be easy. I hope you liked that video and more importantly that you found it helpful. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel and sharing it with a fellow solopreneur. And make sure you check out the description for links to how we can connect and maybe even work together.